Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you the next episode in our Echo Fighter tournament. That is right, Echo Fighter potential. Yeah, potential uh, newcomer tournament. The other tournament, the first one we we're doing. Uh, we will have results for tomorrow and a new matchup. I'm pretty sure there's a new matchup tomorrow, but uh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Today we got the Echo Fighter tournament. So, just a quick rundown of rules: one vote per person. Uh, vote for somebody in the matchup for the day. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Vote for who you would rather see as an Echo Fighter. It's all about just kind of seeing who the community likes better. It's all this is. Try to, you know, a little bit of fun. Try to pass the time. It's what I always say about these. And, well, I mean it. So, let's jump into it. So, we got to go for results. Uh, voting always lasts uh, one seven-day period. So, one week. So, one week later, we find out the winner and loser. And we have to find out the winner and loser from last week's game. So, last Monday was game... 13? Yeah, game 13, which was Ken taking on Mask Man slash Claws, kind of. Yeah, you know who the character is if you're Earthbound Mother Series kind of fan. So, uh, let's see. Did Mask Man end up pull off? Did he pull off the upset? Or did Ken just pretty much like, yeah, Ken's going to win? Well, here's the results. Yeah, Ken won. It wasn't as big as a blowout as I, as I was expecting. I really thought a lot of people were just going to be like, I'm going to vote Ken because he's practically confirmed with the whole Grinch leak kind of thing. And yeah, the, you know, the Grinch leak's a separate topic. By the way, I got a separate kind of video kind of pertaining to the Grinch leak uh, coming out a little bit later than, you know, after this video comes up. It has to do with DLC. So uh, yeah, if you want to, I guess, hear my opinion on DLC, uh, check out that video a little bit later. Cheap little plug there real quick. But, um, yeah, so Ken wins. Mask Man loses. But Mask Man does go down to the loser bracket because this is a double elimination tournament. So where does Mask Man fall? So Mask Man falls all the way down here. All right, so figure out Mask Man's opponent later on eventually. We'll, we'll get there. So that brings us to today's matchup, which is going to be game 19. Zach Fair versus Prince Fluff. Again, probably two characters that... Really aren't even going to be thought of, honestly, from Sakurai and his team. But they could work as Echo Fighters. Zack works for Cloud. And some people say Prince Fluff could be a bit iffy, you know, working as Kirby because Prince Fluff doesn't have the copy ability. But maybe that's where the semi-Echo part comes in. Fart? <laughs> no, that's where the semi-Echo would come in. Just give him a different B move. Don't need to copy because that's... A lot more work, you know, than Prince Fluff. I see. Yeah, we'll jump into that. So let's let's do this, right? So last week when, or I guess it was two weeks ago when I went over Zach Fair, uh, the point I wanted to bring up and I did was that to me Zach Fair kind of takes away from uh, Cloud's inclusion, and I always what I meant by that was Cloud was such an iconic and just out of this world, you know, dream character, and then all of a sudden, you know, Sakurai and his team, Nintendo, and Square, they came together on terms, and it actually happened, and shocked the crap out of me. One of those characters, you're just like, yeah, it'd be cool to see him in the game, you know, fighting against Mario, Link, Donkey Kong, other third-party characters, you know, never thought it would happen, and then it did, and that, that was absolutely one of my favorite moments in Smash Bros. history, so... Nothing against Zack Fair as a character, and I get this is a brand new game, you know, Cloud was for Smash 4, but Cloud's inclusion into Smash is not just for one game, because, well, he's obviously in Smash Ultimate, but just, it's, it's, I don't know how, I don't know how I want to put this. I, I'm not saying it would taint Cloud's, you know, inclusion and, you know, the special feel that he has. I'm not saying, well, I'm kind of saying that, honestly. Uh, just because of the magnitude that Cloud is as a character and how special it really was. You know, just, I don't know. To me, Zack, I think he would fit as an Echo Fighter I'd, if if it happened. Okay, but, you know, just because... Okay, let me go back to that point where somebody was telling me, well, yeah, Cloud's inclusion was so special. That was the last game, you know, the Smash 4. Now we're on to Smash Ultimate and, you know, it that doesn't take away, like, the, the importance. I kind of think that... Getting Cloud kind of knocked down a few doors for some dream characters. And, you know, I, I don't know. I still have a hard time kind of being like, yeah, let, let's ju just give me another Cloud, you know. It, it kind of, I don't know, I, I guess it, 
it's just I don't know. It dulls my my feelings towards it. You know, it's just because we have this super hype, you know, announcement of cloud, and then they're like, oh yeah, here's here's another cloud, and it's just like, no, nah, no thanks. I'll just keep the one cloud. You know, so again, nothing against Zach because I can see him absolutely working. It's just. I don't know. To me, it would irk, not irk me, but it would, I don't know. I don't know how, I really, like, I don't really know how I feel about Zack, to be honest. He's he's cool, I like the design, I like the character, but I don't want him in Smash. So, well, that already tells you kind of who I'm going to vote for. But let's go to his opponent, Prince Fluff, from the Kirby series. Again, echoing Kirby, and getting to that point people were making, Prince Fluff doesn't have the copy ability, so you got to change that. Uh, that's fine. I'm all for, I'm all for changing that because from a developer standpoint, you know, giving Prince Fluff and Kirby all those costumes, and you, then you got to work out the move for each care, you know, each neutral B for Prince Fluff as well that he, you know would copy. And I get that you know a lot more work for the development team to do, especially just for an Echo Fighter. Skull Kid, all right, but I I get that, and I don't know. See. Prince Fluff was like a cool character. He was in um, uh, the the Kirby game on the Wii. Which one was that? I don't remember off the top of my head. Dream, no, Dreamland? No, Dreamland. What? I don't remember. But uh, the Epic Yarn. No, Epic Yarn. Is that Kirby? Woolly World is Yoshi. Epic Yarn is Kirby. Right? I'm getting all mixed up right now. I don't know why. Let's just get back to Prince Fluff. So, same shape. I get he's kind of like this yarn version but you you could make him 3D uh, and, you know, so he'd still have the same, you know, shape, the same hitboxes, the same running speed, the same kind of everything as Kirby that, you know, don't got to change anything like that. Maybe slightly different animations, you know, give him a bit of a different personality than Kirby. I could, you know, change it up just a smidge, uh, especially the B move. But, you know, a, a lot of things. Okay, so let me say this about Prince Fluff. His... I know he's kind of like a, he's kind of like a one-off kind of character. I mean, he was in, he's in the one game that I can't remember the name of for some reason, even though I think I said it earlier, but I don't know. He's just kind of that one character that was, okay, I loved playing as him because um, that was kind of the first real Kirby game back on the Wii that I really played in a long time, and I really loved it. I, I remember sitting down in my room with a friend of mine, and we just sat through and played, you know, co-op with each other, did the story mode, and it was so much fun, and I don't know, I guess I'm not really making a case for either of these, either of these characters, honestly, and that's kind of the point that I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't know, these two characters are just kind of at the bottom, and I don't see either of these characters honestly happening, because if Kirby series, let's face it, if Kirby series gets a new rep, there's other characters that are far more likely, Bandana Waddle top of the list. You could say uh, Magalore, uh, Marks. Uh, I guess those are kind of, you know, up there. They'd definitely be ahead of Prince Fluff. So, yeah, I, do, I don't think Prince Fluff, I don't think... Okay, honestly, n neither of these characters are going to make it in the game. Let's be real. But since I have to vote for one of these characters, um, I guess I have to go Prince Fluff just because Zach Fair just... To me, and this is probably... Maybe I'm alone on this, and that's fine if I am. But to me, it takes away from that specialty kind of feeling that Cr Cloud brought to the game, and kind of what it meant for like going forward with other third-party characters. And if Square gets another rep, I don't, I don't think it, they'll go with the Echo Fighter out. I don't, I don't think they'll do that. Uh, I mean, Gino, right? Gino's far more likely. Gino's in the Grinch League after all. But you know, it's. You know, just two characters that not they don't have they have like one percent chance. I'll I'll be honest at at best at best. So anyway, my vote is definitely going to go to Prince Fluff. I just think it'd be easier. It'd be a first party character and just change his B, uh, Kirby's B move for him to give him sl something slightly different. You know, you could do a bit more with the yarn, like right here. Actually, you could just kind of make it like a little whip, uh, yarn whip. I guess that works. You know, just something like that. You can change change it up. Nothing nothing huge. But, yeah. So, my vote is Prince Fluff. <laughs> Let me know who you got. I mean, I, I'm expecting a lot of people to really vote. Yeah, nobody's going to, you know, neither of these characters are going to make it. But, again, this is just for fun. 
just for fun. Uh, odds are one of these characters, whoever wins this, is not going to really win the next matchup, if I'm being completely honest. Who's who's in the... Who would they face? They'd face... Oh, loser 23 and... Okay. Never mind. That doesn't really help me then. So, uh, yeah. Honestly... They, they probably don't stand a chance. I'll, I'll be I'll be real with you on that one. But anyway, that is probably going to be it for this one. I do hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, I again, I know, I get it. It's not characters that are likely to happen. But I don't know. Who you got anyway for fun? Zack Fair? Zack Fair. Or Prince Fluff. Who you got? Uh, anyway, that is going to be it for this one. Tomorrow we got, like, okay, back up a bit. So like I said earlier, I do got another video coming out later today. It has to do with potential DLC in Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then uh, tomorrow we got two uploads, uh, next, fi next fight, next episode of the Echo Fighter Tournament, and the next matchup in our potential newcomer tournament, which will see the winner of, hold up, it'll see the winner of, uh, dang it, I don't remember. I think it's the winner of Isaac against Gino. So a winner of Isaac and Gino is going to face Bandana Waddle. That'll, that'll be tomorrow. Uh, just look forward to that tomorrow. But anyway, that is it. This video is done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.